Sadie and I are here at our spring road cottages in Wilmington, North Carolina. And now that we've built dozens and dozens of these similar homes and restored so many homes in the Wilmington, North Carolina area, I kind of wanted to take a minute to point out things about which people seem to care and things about which people just don't seem to care in the way houses are built. What do you think, Sadie? I know. <laughs> you may care about the fact that we install metal roofs on all our houses, which are basically hurricane proof. I mean, it would take like a meteor striking the planet for these roofs to blow off of these houses. You may care. Most people don't seem Most to care. Most people don't care because they're never going to see it and they'd never even have known unless I pointed it out before we even put the metal down on the roof sheathing. We lay down a self-adhesive synthetic underlayment. The stuff is all but bulletproof. It glues itself down to the roof like freaking bubble gum. And in the unlikely event water ever got through the metal of the roof and got to this synthetic underlayment, it stopped by the underlayment. Never gonna get through. So your roof is basically never gonna leak. Most people don't care. They wouldn't even know. How an example know? of said synthetic roof underlayment. It's like made out of rubbery plastic, but then you peel the cover off and it like super sticks itself to the roof sheathing. Never coming off, never gonna leak. And the metal goes over it, dude. It's about as hurricane proof as it gets. And uh, guess what? We live in an area where like we get windy storms every once in a while. We even install the new windows. We tape the sills fully with zip system tape, which by the way, is like the new duct tape. It's like better than anything I've ever seen. Bottom line though is when you tape the sill before the window goes in, even though the window's properly installed, in the unlikely event water ever got behind the window, it's not gonna rot out your window sills. It seems like just a simple step that all the builders would take. I don't think they do. You know what else? I don't think anybody cares. You know why? You wouldn't even know. If I didn't point it out, how would you know? And therefore, how can you care? What do you think, pretty girl? She's just like, Daddy, really? I wanna go home. <laughs> then when we do install the windows, first of all, we order them with the J-channel built in. So the siding, there's already a flange on there. The siding tucks right into the existing built-in J-channel, which is just a thing of beauty in and of itself. But then we professionally, perfectly, and lovingly take the whole window in with zip tape. Dude, it ain't never gonna leak. I swear, if the Titanic had windows installed like we install windows, it would have floated to New what York. Probably nobody cares about. Instead of trusses, which in my opinion, are kind of like two by fours tacked together with beer cans. We use dimensional lumber for all our framing, right? These are like legit two by 12s going all the way across. Now, the subcontractors hate it because they've got to like drill through it and stuff. But this is just my opinion. I think dimensional solid lumber is stronger and more long lasting than trusses. Nobody cares, you wouldn't even know. But I know, and I sleep well, knowing that we build our houses with dimensional lumber instead of beer cans. Same thing with our roof system. Two by 10 dimensional trusses all the way across. Overbuilt, stick-built framing with roof joists, collar ties, the whole bit. And say what you want, that is so overbuilt that no truss can ever compare, in my opinion. Nobody cares. You'll never this see is 100% professional opinion and just kind of intuition as opposed to scientific fact or any of that crap. When we do showers, this is the master shower in our cottages. We do fiberglass pans. I just don't trust rubber membranes. I'm just of the opinion that sooner or later, it's going to be a leak or a repair or a maintenance item. I know the guys know how to do it right. I just like the simplicity of a fiberglass pan. It's glued to the plumbing, never gonna leak. Then we'll do your nice decorative, you know, tile surround with whatever kind of tile you want. Moon rock, diamond I dust. I almost totally forgot the most important part over here. 
See this pile of gravel here, 57 stone? I mean, clearly we're nowhere near landscaping or getting driveways ready or anything like that. The gravel is because when we're pouring footers for our slabs, I always, always, always put gravel down first. Even when we get after like a soil compaction test and all that, where we prove that we've got good solid soils, what the hell is the harm in spending an extra thousand bucks on gravel in the footers before you pour the concrete? You know, you only get one shot at that. I guarantee you, we are snorting and putting 57 stone in their footers. They are showing up, digging the footers, pouring concrete, and off they go to framing. But that's just me. What do you think, Sadie? Hey, girlfriend, what are you doing? She's kind of crazy. You may care that we spend the extra money on double hung windows so that they can be folded in for cleaning and maintenance. Some people care, a lot of people don't seem to care. One of the things about which people seem to care are the beautiful red cedar shingles we put on the fronts of these houses. Cedar shingles rock. They give it that cottage. People feel. seem to care about the tasteful use of reclaimed wood, like on our porch ceilings on the outside of the house. People seem to care that we carried that beautiful reclaimed wood accent into the interior of the house tastefully. People seem to care that we use beautiful granite countertops in all our kitchens. People seem to care that we use stainless steel appliances in People all our seem to care that all our cabinet hardware is slow closed on the drawers and the doors. Beautiful like shaker style cabinets. People seem to care about that stuff. People seem to care that our trim work is craftsman style with the little T over the tops of the doors and the windows. One by four vertical trim, one by six header trim. People seem to care about People that seem stuff. seem to care that our tub and shower surrounds in the house are all tile instead of fiberglass. They also seem to care that we put glass doors on these things. What do you think, Sadie? Do you care? She doesn't really care. Sadie and I thought that that was another good example of the craftsman style trim work we do. Just saying. But not everybody People cares. People care that we use mini splits in our houses. That way you can save on your energy bills. If there's a room or a section of the house you're not using, you can tone that down a bit and focus on the areas of the home that you are using. A lot of people don't care. What do you think, Sadie? I know. People do care about a nice, safe, quiet neighborhood. In the case of Spring Road, there aren't even any houses across the street. It's all wooded over there. We got a fully fenced in backyard here for someone like Sadie to enjoy herself, run around safely. And in fact, the whole time I've been here, not a single car has driven by. Yet, people care about the fact that you're five minutes from downtown Wilmington right here. You're five minutes from the Milky Way. Jump on that, you're at Wrightsville Beach in 20, 30 minutes, 15 minutes from the hospital. Come on, people. These are important things about which just about everybody cares. Don't you? Some people care that their yard is bigger than a postage stamp. You want a postage stamp size yard? Go buy from We Are Snorton. Otherwise, if you want a big yard, hey, the downside is you got a little more grass to mow. The upside is you got a big yard for your dog to enjoy and run around instead of being cooped up in a little pen like We Are Snorton. And I know people care about this because it is a unicorn. Detached garage with apartment above? Hello. Show me another one. Legally permitted and built. I mean, people care about that, I think. It's a beautiful garage, too, with a nice apartment above. Now that is a happy dog. In a great neighborhood. In a great location. Safe and happy. Close to everything.